Hi, my name is Chris Robertson, and I'm a master instructor with Best Incorporated. A question that we frequently receive is, what is the IPC A610 standard? First, let's talk a little bit about IPC and what that organization does. IPC is a trade association whose founding purpose is to support the electronics industry. Part of the IPC's function is to establish and publish standards documents. By gathering hundreds of electronic industry personnel from around the world, IPC collects data and then the consensus decisions of those groups. That criteria are then published as a standards document. A standards document ensures that there is a common understanding of acceptable and defect conditions that may occur in the electronic assemblies. The IPC A610 Acceptability of Electronic Assemblies is the most widely published standards document from IPC. The 610 contains a collection of criteria for the visual inspection of a soldered electronic assembly. The 610 document touches on criteria like allowable circuit board damage, component damage, soldered wire and component interconnection sites, and more. In short, the 610 is the referee that helps assemblers inspect devices that should then function for the intended life of the product in its operation environment. The IPC standards are revised at intervals of about 18 to 36 months. The purpose of the revision is to update the standards with the latest criteria and technologies based on the best available data. There's an associated training program based on the IPCA 610 document. The training program is intended to teach individuals how to read, navigate, understand, and apply the criteria contained in the 610. Training also gives individuals some insight into why a condition may be considered acceptable, even though it may be cosmetically ugly. The training program leads to one of three certifications and one higher designation depending on the individual or company's needs. The base level of training and certification is the Certified IPC Specialist, or CIS, level. A CIS certification candidate is someone who works in the electronics industry and will benefit from knowing how to use, navigate, and apply the criteria in daily activities. Those who teach the CIS candidates are called Certified IPC Trainers, or CITs. CITs are individuals who are subject matter experts in the 610 criteria. Subject matter experts are the individuals called upon to help with the interpretation of the IPC documents within that individual's company. CITs are authorized to conduct the training for CIS candidates and schedule the exams for the CIS certifications. Like the CIT, the Certified Standards Expert, or CSE, undergoes an in-depth look at the criteria of the IPC standard. The CSE is also called upon as a subject matter expert to help with the interpretation of the IPC documents within that individual's company. The major difference between a CSE and a CIT is that CSEs are not authorized to teach or conduct certification exams. The CSE has less requirements to obtain a recertification every two years when compared to the requirements for a CIT. Finally, a CIT who has gained knowledge and experience and who is connected to a licensed IPC training center can be designated a Master IPC Trainer or MIT. Master instructors are authorized to instruct CITs, CSEs, and CISs. For more information about training programs and IPC certification programs, please visit our website at www.solder.net. You can also watch more videos through our YouTube channel, Soldering Geek.